Well, we're here at Victoria Park with another vintage Collingwood, thanks to Get Wines Direct. And the man I'm going to talk to is probably one of the biggest and best big men ever to put on the black and white, a 1990 Premiership teammate of mine, Damien Munkos. How are you, big monkey? Not bad until you said vintage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm still pretty young at heart. We're off that era, mate. Look, you've had a great career at Collingwood, but the start, Wurra Yalek, it was a, a tough upbringing. Yeah, sure. I you probably don't even know this, but I grew up in an asbestos house um, <laughs> with no, no floor. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a tough upbringing and um, had to adjust to, yeah, coming into the football life and being sort of semi-professional and having a crack at it. Um, it was a big learning curve when I was sort of 15, 16 years of age. Well, you had a few, uh, what can we say, travel problems when you couldn't make training on occasions. Where, what happened, Monk, on those times? And please were they understand. excuses or the truth? No, a lot of them were the truth. <laughs> yeah. Um, but please understand, I was still living out at Warrialic at the time. I didn't like that moving into the town. Yeah. I wasn't ready to move into town. Was there a time when the club also got your taxis from yeah. up the Worry? Yeah, due to not having a licence at the time. Yep. Um, I was young, so taxis used to come and pick me up from, uh, from high school, <laughs> bring me down, drop me off here, train, and again, catch a train home. So, uh, so you'd catch a train from Victoria Park into Flinders Street Station, Flinders Street Station, get the train, train and head out to Lurdale. From Lurdale, I didn't want to put mum and dad out. Um, they were already you know, doing their bits and pieces. So I used to hitchhike from Lurdale train station at 11 o'clock at night, yep. um, get to Worrialic and then walk the, the road to my place, which is about 3K yep. um, at night, at 11, 12 o'clock at night, um, and then get up the next morning for school. So. Um, people used to laugh at me and tell me off about it, but it was actually pretty tough. Then when I got my licence, I had a bit of a hot rod car. <laughs> and uh, it wasn't the most reliable car, 350 Chev, old statesman. Um, that uh, it used to break down a bit, but unfortunately sometimes it broke down at the War Alec Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd ring up Gubby Allen and he could hear the, hear the bar going in the background. So yeah, I had troubles um, converting into fully commitment to uh, AFL footage. So in the ne next two years, you've come up with make a couple of finals, you know, get through, yep. and then 1990 comes upon us. Um, were you confident about winning that game at the, in the grand final the, before you yeah, went through? Yeah, I, I was confident because I could feel the... It's funny, when you have a long career, now mine wasn't as long as yours, Shory, but you get a feeling, I reckon, during the week of how bubbly you are and how you're, you're actually feeling for the game coming up. Yep. And I, I remember feeling that there was nothing that could actually sway us or you couldn't be relaxed about it. You know, you go into the game, you're thinking, are these boys up or not? You can pretty much pick it. Um, and I felt personally, and hopefully my vibe that I give to teammates um, was, yeah, we're ready to go. You're up against two of the greatest ruckmen of all time, Paul Salmon and uh, Simon Madden. It must have been giving me, a lot, giving me a lot of pride to look back now to that game and just think, they were some of the best that ever played and, and you really did beat them. At that time, Simon is just going past being the, the super great ruckman that he was. Mm. So I caught him at the right time. It just fell in my hands, really. Yeah. It fell in my hands. Um, and emotionally, in big games, I always tried to get up for. Um, and I prided myself on playing good games in big games. What's it uh, mean to be a Collingwood Premiership player? It means, uh, it means a lot. You, you're regarded as you performed on the big stage. Um, that's where you judge the footballer, I believe. Um, and if you played well on that day, um, you're also judging it. And to be part of a group of guys who meet up different times of the year yeah. and just be just be part of a, a, a group that you know is uh, fantastic to be with. Well, Monks, thanks for joining us and thanks for watching Vintage Collingwood on behalf of Get Wines Direct. Next time you want to uncork a fine drop, make sure you head to getwinesdirect.com or go in-store to 161 Burnley Street in Richmond and take advantage of an array of great offers from Collingwood's major partner.